Hi, welcome to Samlex Workshop. Today we're going to talk about our larger battery chargers, 12 and 24 volts. The 12 volt versions are all UL approved, 50 amps and 80 amps with a half power mode for charging smaller battery banks. Because you've got to watch your current when you're charging batteries, putting too much or more than the rated capacity of the batteries can harm them. The 24 volt versions come in a 25 amp and a 40 amp version. Again, all UL approved. We include a temperature sensor. Temperature compensated charging is very important for making sure you don't overcharge or undercharge your battery at different temperatures. At higher temperatures, the batteries should not be charged as high, and lower temperatures to keep them charged, they should be charged at a higher voltage. So let's hook it up and just see how it works. It comes with five meters or about 15 feet of wire, so you can travel a fair distance uh, from the battery charger to the battery itself. The temperature sensor end has a double-sided sticky tape, so just peel that off and stick it on your battery. That'll work just fine. To plug the sensor into the charger, simply look at the, the DC end of the charger itself, and there's a small receptacle for like this it looks similar to an audio jack. All you have to do is simply plug it in. It's that easy. Since the battery chargers are often installed very close to the batteries, out of uh, eyesight if you will, it's great to have a remote. Our RC15A is our remote control for the battery chargers. It's very simple, an on-off button, which you'll note when I press it, the unit shows the power on and then it shows it going indicating which stage it's in. The battery I've got is in the float stage right now but it goes through a lineup when it first starts up. So a simple on off button and showing it going through the bulk absorption and float stage which it normally would do with a fully charged battery. It comes with about 30 feet, 10 meters of uh, similar to network type cable, but if you do have to extend it, give us a call first and we'll just double check on how far you have to go. For the remote, it's very easy. You can surface mount this, flush mount it on a wall. You simply plug in one end and plug in the other end to the remote control RC socket and you're done. So now we've given you a brief overview of how to hook up the temperature sensor and the remote for the larger battery chargers. If you have any questions, you know where we are, give us a call. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for visiting Samlex Workshop.